Hi children, class 8, good morning. So today I will continue the same chapter but today I will discuss about the another gland that is thyroid gland. Before I talk about the pituitary gland, now I will discuss about the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland according to the figure it is present in the neck region or inside the neck that is throat region. Now this is a rough idea about the thyroid gland because you do not have in your syllabus about the cellular structure. So thyroid gland it is the body of it. These two are wings like character or in shape they are present throughout the throat and these are the lobes of the thyroid gland. So this is the main structure of thyroid gland and red colored lobes are present or embedded in the thyroid gland. They are known as parathyroid gland. So today I will discuss about these two. Parathyroid gland it is not in your syllabus but little bit I will tell you. Th thyroid gland and parathyroid gland. Now first of all I will tell you about the secretion. Thyroid gland have secretion thyroxin. Parathyroid gland have secretion parathormone. So children first of all you know about the parathormone it is very it persists for very few or very small time few times up to 5 years or 7 years they remain in the thyroid gland after that they destroyed or they are diminished. They diminished in their size and there is no function yet. The functions of parathormone is to increase the level of white blood corpuscles to produce more immunity. So that's why it is always known that children has to get more immunity in their childhood not in their adulthood. So due to that parathormone they can get their immunity and after that they are diminished or destroyed. So children you can understand very well that parathormone is very for very less time it remains or persists in our body. Now thyroxine region. Thyroxine hormone it is secreted by thyroid gland and mainly or you can say the main element of, of the thyroxine is iodine only. Because of iodine only thyroxine hormone can be prepared by our body. If iodine will be less then we can get some other diseases due to the lack of iodine. So thyroxine if it is secreted more in amount we can get the disease hyperthyroidism. Children you know hyper means more. So when thyroxine will be secreted more in amount the disease or name of the disease is hyperthyroidism and according to biology hyperthyroidism the name of the disease is exophthalmic goiter. Understood? Then if the thyroxine will be released in less amount then this is known as hypothyroidism. Hypo means below or less in amount. Below the proper level or less in amount. This hypothyroidism will lead first disease that is goiter. Goiter can occur in all type of or in all aged peoples. Maybe very small or maybe very elder let it be. And goiter is only occurs due to the lacking of iodine. So children if you have seen the neck becomes swollen because the thyroid gland becomes swollen and it is having less iodine. So it has to do more function that's why it becomes swollen in structure. And next one mixed oedema. Mixed oedema is also takes place in hypothyroidism when it is secreting less in amount but it takes place in small children. Achha. 
so all together what is the function of thyroxine thyroxine have a main function to inculcate or to maintain the basal metabolic rate of our body children you can understand basal metabolic rate it means that in our body whatever systems or which sorry whichever systems are going on for their function due to that our body will do the proper function and for that thyroxine will be essential all the basic type of metabolic activity such as digestive system respiratory system excretory system all these system have their proper function needs thyroxine or thyroxine control all these basal metabolic functions so it helps to control the basal, basal metabolic activity this is the main function of the thyroxine gland thyroxine hormone another character if it is less in active that means all the activities get slow digestive system also respiratory system also excretory system also circulatory system also then the people become lethargic mind also not develop properly or they become less alert in their function and they become dull each and every one those who have less function of thyroxine instead of that if they have more function of thyroxine then they are every time ready to do any type of physical activity any type of circulatory if i'm sorry any type of digestive system they can continue type of circulatory system always they will continue if the circulatory system will be continued then respiratory system also becomes more in amount and they have high temperature of their body and they never be the lethargic so it depends on the thyroxine so thyroxine have the these two main functions of thyroxine you have to remember so this is about the thyroid gland and hyperthyroidism hypothyroidism acha one thing more children pituitary gland is also known as master gland maybe it is uh, yes it is in your book i don't know master do you know now what is the meaning of master master means those who can conduct to each and every one so pituitary gland can conduct to each and every endocrine gland for its proper function so they are also known as master gland okay children understood and one by one about each gland you please explain it in your copy with the figure thank you children god bless you